you guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing a handwriting comparison between the good and the beautiful so both of these are from the good and the beautiful both of them are level four however this is the older version and this is the newly released version so I wanted to quickly show you a comparison so if you are kind of wondering well I, I bought the older level or I printed the older level how does it compare to the new one? I wanted to give you guys a little side-by-side -side picture. So this is the older level. Um, the inside is black and white. Um, this is what the cursive chart looks like there in the older level. And these are like the little assessments that they do at the beginning. So this would be the very first handwriting actual lesson okay so that is the older level here so it's just black and white um and then there's the introduction of the cursive letter a and a coloring sheet at the bottom now on the new level the inside is color and the cursive letter chart is got the print letter comparison next to it. So that is pretty fantastic because it, when your children are learning cursive, some of the letters don't look the same in print. And I know that that's been kind of a struggle for my kids is when they're learning, you know, they see a letter like Z and that doesn't look anything like the printed letter Z. So that's pretty, pretty awesome that it has uh, that comparison there. Then you see um, this these color markings um, and you'll notice that those are also on there so there's a reason for that. So that is what that looks like. Now just to give you a comparison these are um, just some the let's see are the, that's the first lesson. So here's a comparison right here. So we it starts with the lowercase uh, vowel alphabet and cursive, and they still have the um, the little coloring parts at the bottom, which are nice, or finishing off the pictures. My kids love doing those. Uh, let's see. Now, the really, really cool thing right here is the color of this. So follow the dots in order. So it shows you where you start. So it's color coded. So you start on the red, then you go to the orange, then you go to the yellow. That's very helpful when teaching cursive because sometimes they just don't know. So having that on there is, is great. Um, as you can see on the older version, it doesn't have those color codes, but it does have arrows. Now this was this has been working fine for us. We will finish this up, but I just wanted to actually show you guys as well. Um, I like how they have cursive and print on both, so that is kind of similar. They they always have some printing and some cursive. Let me get on to, let's see here. So this is number, um, well, that's actually past where she's gone. So let's go to number 53. This is the older version. Practice printing name copy and print color. The page before was um, cursive and a little drawing. So this is less uh, number 53 in the older version. So I'm going to go to number 53 in the new version to show you guys what that looks like. So to me, it appears. <laughs> so here's the new version. So they have cursive sentences here, draw a scene around the crab, and then they also have, um, you know, some grammar practice and they have cursive letter practice, connect the dots. Um, and that is in comparison to these two. So what it seems like to me is that, um, they just completely redid it. They didn't even take what they had and kind of reform it. They made it all the way new. So that is, um, you know, a nice comparison there. So in here, lots of poetry. The, oh, well, that's funny. Here's the same poem, so they did use some of the same stuff. Um, but I love the bigger, bigger print of it. I like the bigger lines. You'll notice on here that some of these lines are a little tiny, so that's kind of nice. Um, so overall, I really, really love the new version of the handwriting. I think it is a little bit better laid out. I think it's 
improved in the size of the print. I think the lines are better for um, them to be writing. And I am, I really like it. I really like that color coding on the cursive. Um, that's gonna really help. And I love that everything is just a little larger. It takes up the whole page. So I, I really like that. Um, we will continue on with using our older level because we are like very close to being done with it. And then I'll just have her move over here. So if you're wondering, well, we did level four this year in the, in the older version, could we just do it again? Yeah, you totally could because it's, it's pretty much different. So that's what I wanted to show you guys is kind of a comparison between the older version and the newer version. I think they did an awesome job. I like the polka dots on the cover, just those little things I really, I really enjoy. Um, so that is like a side-by-side -side look at the differences between handwriting level four, older handwriting level four, new. Um, and I really like the differences they made in the new one. The old one's great, but um, the new one is new and improved. So I wanted to show you guys that. If you enjoyed this flip through, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions down below. And if not, I will see you all in my next video really soon. Thanks for watching.